right, this is Doc's Market Minute for Friday, September 4th, getting ready for a long weekend, and we have a very defined pattern here on the spiders. This is the 60-minute chart, and after the strong drop that we had the last couple of weeks, right, we've seen what's happening now is that we're sort of winding into the, another triangle pattern. So we did have an earlier triangle pattern before all of this broke down, right? So back here in August, in mid-August, this broke down to the downside. And now what we have is another triangle pattern. So we can all read Bolkowski and try to predict which way this is going to break from, but simply what we need to watch for is a close above either the upper or the lower boundary of this triangle. Now, if we gap below and close down below this boundary, we're going to get a very quick test, if not maybe an undershoot of that 183 level on the spiders. By the same token, if we do get some kind of positive note that comes in, perhaps from overseas, I think what we're going to see is a breakout from here above the, the 200, the important 200 level or the 2000 level on the S&P, and I think we're going to be testing the 2050 area from below. So what this means is that in the short term, what I'm looking to do is until we can determine with any kind of certainty that these barriers are going to hold on the upper lower trend line of this triangle pattern, I'm going to be looking to fade the extremes, which is down here at 183 or up here at 205 on the spiders, right? So if we see a breakdown below from here, I'm going to wait until we can get a credit spread position that's well below 183 and then sell into that fear as well as wait until this thing breaks or wait until this price breaks above the trend line of this triangle and look for that to fade into the 2050 level because I don't think it'll get above that level and stay above that level the first time. Something else to keep in mind here is that gaps are being filled. While we're Moving around inside here, the gaps will be filled. We still have some upside targets here, which is up near, uh, what, 2060, almost, almost 2070 by the time we have this gap here. We now have another gap, which is close to the bottom of that 2050 range, right? And then we have, uh, we have a major gap here, which is caused this morning, which ultimately will be filled fairly soon. And then we have some very small gaps down here, and the jury's out as to whether those are considered to be filled or not. Until something actually is filled, I still hold these open as open gaps. So really, in much the same way that we watched the trend line for this triangle pattern here eventually resolve to the downside, even though we did have an initial fake out to the downside and one to the upside before this thing finally broke. So it's not always easy to determine where this triangle is actually breaking out from. But it's the close from here that we really care about. So this all started with a downside pre-morning gap, and then it just completely destroyed itself. So we'll know when this thing is actually escaping from this pattern, and then we simply need to look for the next signal to be able to fade. And that's the way I'm trading today's market. You guys have a great long weekend. We'll see you back here on Tuesday when the market reopens. Take care.